Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I just wanted to talk about a movie that I really like, uh, that I heard about years ago, and as you see in the title, that movie is Reuben and Ed. Reuben and Ed is a story, um, a movie, created by Trent Harris, who's an independent director, filmmaker, and uh, he's done about, I think, six feature films, and then he did a bunch of shorts and other things. Uh, I watched an interview with him, and he said he had done hundreds of films, but I guess he only released some of them. Um, this is kind of a funny one. Um, I was working in IT at the time, and a buddy of mine at work says to me, uh, did you ever see, we somehow got on the, the topic of Crispin Glover, I don't know if he had a new movie out or what, and he goes, did you ever see Reuben and Ed? It's a really weird film, you'd like it. I said, no, I never even heard of it. So he says, yeah, Crispin Glover is like out of his mind. He went on um, David Letterman to promote the film, and nobody knew at the time he was dressing up as the character from Reuben and Ed, who's very weird looking, and he like jumped up in the air and started acting wacky, and he almost kicked David Letterman in the face, and they kind of like ended the interview. So, and I don't think David Letterman caught on that they were he was promoting the film. He thought Crispin Glover's fucking lost it. So, um, which is just awesome unto itself. You can you can YouTube it. It's it's pretty cool to watch. So. Um, Ruben and Ed, sadly, is only on VHS. You can get it on DVD through um, Trent Harris's website. I believe it's called Echo Cave or The Echo Cave. The thing with that is it's a VHS to DVD rip or whatever. So it's VHS quality on a DVD. It doesn't look very great um, from what I've heard. The movie's awesome, though. So the movie is Crispin Glover in this like weird bob wig. Um, with big platform shoes and str like a strange, almost like 70s-esque outfit with Howard Hessman, I believe is his last name. He was in WKRP in Cincinnati and a bunch of other stuff. He's always a really good actor. I like him in, in everything I've seen him in. But the main thing that comes to mind is WKRP in Cincinnati, which I think is an awesome show. Um, Howard's name is, is Ed and Ruben is... Uh, Crispin Glover. I hope I'm not mixing up the names. Sometimes I do mix them up. Um, and Howard is in this, um, <clears throat> like, it's almost like a pyramid scheme. They call it the, um, oh, I can't, think, I can't even think of the word they use. But it's like this group, like a society kind of, that teaches you how to, like, sell real estate and then, like, pay for these seminars. And then you have to get other people to come in and, pay for the seminars and like improve your self-worth so it's kind of like the the bullshit you see on at like 3 a.m. or like the pyramid schemes over the years of people getting the next person into the group and everyone making money off the last person that comes in uh, so he's got a wig in the movie so he looks a little like different as well and Crispin Glover in it is sort of like this shut-in who lives in this motel that his mother runs they um, I guess they have like a free apartment or, or room there I should say and he doesn't leave the house and the mom's like you gotta go out in like the first five minutes <clears throat> of the film is his mom screaming at him you gotta go out and make some friends you have to go out today and make friends all you do is sit around your whole life go out and bring someone home to dinner bring up any friend you find home to dinner or I'm not like catering to your bullshit anymore and he goes out and he starts trying to talk to some random girl like at the pool and she's like looks like he's a weirdo and leaves and then he runs into um, to Ed, and Ed is now trying to like sell him real estate and make him go to these seminars and whatever else. And they start talking, and Ruben just sort of goes, "Oh, if you come to my house tonight around dinner, uh, I'll talk to you more about this." So he kind of like ropes him in to come over for dinner. The mother ends up not making it, and they end up on this journey together. It's almost like a buddy film. That's the best way for me to describe it. But it's kind of quirky, um, which I love. So, long story short, um, Howard's character, Ed, ends up asking for a glass of water, goes in the freezer, and when he's looking for ice for the water, finds Reuben's dead cat. The dead cat is pretty much the focal point of the film. The cat's name is Simon, and this is all based loosely on the director's friend. So this happened to the director, and he's pulled some of this from, from his uh, real life stories. Um, and Ruben didn't want to throw the cat out after his, you know, loving pet passed away. Who does want to throw their pet away? So he wanted to bury it somewhere special. So he kind of ropes Ed into 
bring him out into the desert before they go to the seminar to bury the cat in like a nice place. Um, they end up, the car breaks down. Um, at one point he gets lost in the desert and starts having hallucinations. It's just like, it's a very strange movie. There's lots of weird lines. And just like Fishing with Gandhi, if you listen to the dialogue, they say things amongst each other that are very funny and very amusing. The characters are likable, but they start out like hating each other. They're fighting and arguing and calling each other names. Um, both of them are trying to achieve something. Ed is trying to get over his uh, ex-wife who left him because he wasn't making any money and he was doing these seminars and whatever. And also trying to kind of calm down and come to a sort of inner peace, if you will, because he says in the beginning of the movie he is always arguing with people and fighting. And Ruben is sort of trying to break out of his shell, uh, you know, interact with people a little more also while burying his, his pet. Um, there's just a lot of great banter back and forth between the two. The ex-wife gets involved. They end up in some other town. There's lots of like little things that happen. Um, one of the, the most memorable parts is Ruben has a hallucination. He ends up, um, I guess, getting like heat stroke or sunstroke and he's like floating in a raft on the beach and all these girls are there and he's got these huge platform shoes on there that have now expanded and his cat is, um, his dead cat Simon is, uh, what do they call it? Not hoverboarding, like skiing sort of. Um, holding on to the thing and skiing on the back of a boat. So he's like in his glory, but he's really just hallucinating. There's lots of like weird stuff like that happening. Um, and the characters are quirky, but there's something about them you can sort of uh, find endearing. And then when you watch them interact, you see they start to get along better and better as the movie progresses. And they sort of end up friends at the end of the movie. And it's just a cool little quirky flick. Uh, it's not long, it's about an hour and 20 minutes. And uh, sadly, like I said, it's only on VHS, so the only way you'd really find it is if you have some kind of illegal streaming service, like you use Kodi and Exodus, or um, you can buy the DVD off of Trent Harris's website. Uh, I think there are some VHS rips you can download off the internet, but I've seen the movie a few times now, and each time I watch it, I sort of see something new or find something more interesting or funny that I didn't see the last time. So I'm hoping to see Trent Harris's other films. Um, he does sell them all on his website, so check him out. I'll put the link to his website down in the description. Hopefully get him a little traffic. And just wanted to put this out there because it was just such a weird, quirky film that's never made it to DVD and never made it to Blu-ray that I really enjoy. So thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.